Yes, and welcome back. Promise. Bribed. As you can so see. To come back to this hovel of the one, the only Hobo Tom. For I'm here to give some my learned predictions about some of the contest that because of his schedule and wanting to mingle with plebes that he may or may not preview. So therefore he has asked me the most learned Dr. Tom to come and give my predictions. But first and foremost, please play my concerto. Yes, for everyone must have their own entrance. For we shall start off from Saturday. For again, this is a most loaded and probably festive weekend of wrestling. For on Saturday there is Bound for Glory. My <coughs> oh, I hope that's not the plague. Oh, you never know in this. What diseases and vermin infest this place. So, yeah. So, in the gauntlet match, indeed, there's one person that shall win that. That is Heath Slater. For remember, if he does not win his match, not only will himself, but his good friend Rhino be eliminated. Actually, it stands to reason, for Hernandez won. In the previous match, the mathematics very simply say Hernandez shall not win this. That is always good to see. Then we have Eddie Edwards taking on Ken Shamrock. This is just the start of things to come by that puppet master himself, Samuel Callahan. Ken Shamrock shall be victorious. And this. Oh, this should be fun. should be a cinematic event of the ages worthy of a Shakespearean play. EC3. And I will not degrade myself like the, the hobo does by tossing random gang signs and doing stuff. But no. Ethan Carter III shall defeat Moose. I'll tell you what, this shall be my stone cold lock of the night. And then probably, well, that'll be good. Hmm, what's the snooze through? Yeah, probably that one. That's okay. So, Rahit, so the ne next contest, next grappling event, shall be Rahit Raju, the Desi Hitman, taking on Chris Bay, taking on TJP, versus Jordan Grace. Versus Trey Miguel, and finally, the last combatant is Willie Mack. I'm going to be bold in my predictions. Jordan Grace will win. Yes. And then, let's see. Oh, this could go one of two ways. Darn. It's either going to be really good or really bad. I shall err on the side of caution and say it shall be really good. If we have the Motor City Machine Guns versus the Good Brothers versus the North versus Ace Austin and Madman Fulton. With all of this talent in the ring, there's too much. 
Yes, too much. Too much. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as my grandparents used to say. The good brothers shall win. They shall become champions of the tag team division of Impact Wrestling. And then, yes, with, with many Im Im implications, Kylie Ray will be victorious over Diana Prazzo. And I have a feeling that this is going to be the one, the only match of the night. Primarily because of its simplicity. Um, yes. So Kylie Ray shall win. She shall become the next woman's champion. We shall all celebrate in our own fashion. More so, there's a bonus. I believe we shall see Susie come out. Will it be Sue Young? Will it be Susie? Indeed, we shall find out. And unfortunately, mainly because of the style and the contrast, and in the rare case that the difference in style does not make for an interesting athletic contest. Eric Young shall defeat Rich Swans, but by this time, probably people will be napping for this is the snooze match. And that's all for Bond for Glory. Let us, as my most esteemed wrestling colleague Yano Toro says, let's take a break. Let's see here. If so, this person is too tall there, so I must put a carry that number over. And this person did that during that show, so therefore I must subtract that. I'll give that. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, yes, I am back. Yes, for it's just I have to do some quick mathematics as to the predictions for now. Hell in a cell. So, again, please play some of this fine music that is so soothing to the ears. So, it's Hell in a Cell. This is. Most peculiar for on CBS Sports. Even the dreaded ugh, garbage offends me by its lack of references and its types of references and the fact that any two-bit plebe who has been with a, pr a, a vile prostitute for less than $2 for only a few minutes has can put something in. Ah, ah, that image alone is offensive to my most numerous. And as you can tell by what's on the wall here. Academic achievements. Yes, for even they only have four matches. Whereas CBS Sports, they have a few more. Very hard to tell. So I shall predict what I can. So we have Kevin Owens taking on Aleister Black. This is a show that belongs on television, not a pay-per-view. You expect people to pay for this when they've seen it for free already so often? What 
Do they think we're simpletons here? Boo. Boo, Vince McMahon. But I must make a prediction. Kevin Owens has gotten the short end of, of the stick more often than not. <sighs> Kevin Owens wins, and I shall be taking a nap during this match. Or even better, partaking some fine scotches. Then we have Dominic Mysterio, possible or possibly Dominic Mysterio versus Seth Rollins versus Murphy. I'll tell you what, Murphy somehow becomes victorious through whatever means that he finds at his disposal. Yes, Murphy wins. Fine match. Jeff Hardy versus Elias. Again, they could just show this match on TV, and they probably will have a rematch on the Monday Night Raw after a Hell in a Cell. Why? Why, Vince? Why torment us with this product? Oh, already my head starts to pound. The thought of reviewing this. Glad I do not glad I do not have to be here. Or is it just with that stench? The this hobo's hovel. As I shall say. Oh jeez. Jeff Hardy wins. Fans must go home happy. Ooh, in the next contest. This is intriguing. They could do this. They, if if done correctly, they could continue this. Somehow, by nefarious means, Bailey is victorious, and oh, that's going to be so violent. This might also be violent. Might we see the women bleed? Would they dare have a woman? Do the blade job? We shall find out. For this is going to be my match of the night. And then oh this is going to be this is going to be good as well. Drew McIntyre versus Randall Orton. How many times can Randy Orton get a shot at this title? But knowing that Survivor Series is well within reach and possibly a live audience, Randy Orton wins this round. Yes, that sounds proper. So therefore, they set it up correctly. Instead of Drew McIntyre winning his championship in front of an empty arena. He can win it in front of fans and the elation and jubilation of a new w of, of what's deserved of a WWE champion shall take place. And then in my stone cold lock. Roman Reigns shall retain his belt against Jay Uso. Yes. Jay Uso will be forced to say the words, I quit, and submit himself to the rulings of his true tribal chief. So, yes. Again, this is my stone cold lock. Roman Reigns is not giving that belt up yet. And that's what we have for Helena Cell. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. I'm most disappointed in you for not allowing us insight into what your plans are. I mean, just to have only four matches posted on, even if, oh God, it, it hurts me to say Wikipedia, but CBS Sports only has two more matches added to that. Really? You expect 
those of lesser means to pay and watch this? Or do you expect such as one Sean Ross Sapp to watch on such illegal programming, which is over on YouTube? I do not know. But again, I would like to thank you. Give my salutations to the audience out there. Please have a fine night. Remember, if you do partake of some of the more civilized tastes, please stay home or have a designated drive.